and the next one is G D. So we write G D, and the last one is G C. G C. Okay. Now what we need to measure is the forces. Okay. So we can just uh, draw a line just for neatness. Now to get the forces of each of the members, we need to measure from our force diagram the distance or the, the centimeters of each of the members. For example, AE. We go to the force diagram, we look for AE. So this is A up there to E down here. So we need to measure that how long that is going to be. Okay. So in measuring that, we're just going to simply put our ruler there. Measure that distance, and it gives me about fifteen or sixteen. Let's say sixteen. Remember our force scale is one centimeter is to one kilonewtons, which means whatever centimeter. I measure is the number of kilonewtons as well. Okay, the next one is ED. There is E there. D over there. So we put our ruler. Okay. 11.2. So we come there, right? 11.2 kilonewtons. Okay, the next one is EF. Okay, there's E, there's F, so let's measure that. We can get about two. Two kilometers. FB. There's F, there's B. It's about 12 point... 12.123 12 12.3 12 12.3 kilometers the next one is fg fg okay is f is g measure that it's also about let's say it's also about two two kilometers and then the next one is gd there's g there's g and there's d over there so we measure measure by 13.5 Kilometers. And then the last one is GC. All right. There's a G over there. And a C down here. So we just measure that. It's about 19.5. 19.5 kilo newtons and that's it that's how you calculate your forces graphically of a frame using a force diagram thank you very much